Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm jumping on to another new comedian, uh, Chris Rock. I obviously know who Chris Rock is. I've seen his stand up, everything from Bigger Blacker, uh, Killing Messenger, Never uh, Scare Again. I've seen all of those, but uh, I think this one, the one I'm going to react to, is one of his older stand up, which I haven't seen yet. So, without any delays, let's get to Chris Rock. Here we go. Don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. A lot of women here, that's cool. I like women. Mother's a woman. That helps. You know what's bug? When, like, whenever my female friends start talking about, you know, my boyfriend's crazy. I didn't know he was crazy. I didn't know he was out of his mind. He just flipped. Women. If you want to know if your man is crazy or not, just check out his relationship with his mother. So all you gotta do, check out his relationship with his mother. Cause he's like, hey mom, fuck you, kiss my ass. I don't give a fuck out, put this foot up your ass. If he's like that, then you're next. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? I think I missed late something. Late to school, late to work. Stop. Women, 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 man. women, women, women. I don't know, man. Only you get the most shit to learn about. One thing you learn about women. Women don't like nice guys. Say they do, don't. Neither do They got to have an asshole first. <laughs> Every woman goes through an asshole phase. They got to go with Ike, then Mike. <laughs> That's right. You know what's bad? If you're a nice guy like me, you always get women after they've been out with an asshole. So now you got to be their boyfriend and their psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> to help them get over this psycho. That's right. Every 20 minutes of pussy, three hours of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. You know, it's why it starts in childhood. It starts in childhood. Little girls like little bad boy. A like little boy gives little girl Valentine's Day card. She don't want him. She don't want nothing to do with him. She wants a little boy to just punch her in the back <laughs> and ran down the hall. <laughs> Ooh, I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. Then you grow up and you marry that same little boy. The next thing you know, you're on Oprah going, I don't know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> it just ain't right. But yo, you picked that man. You chose that man. You know, you picked right. that nice boy Roy, but you picked Ass Whoop McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah, I love Ass Whoop. He's a good man. In between Ass Whoop, he reads poetry. The violets are blue, roses are red. Time to kick a bitch in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and Rhymes. Ask McGee original. I don't know, women. You know the cool thing about women that I like about women? A woman can fall in love with an ugly man and admit it. Show him off to all her friends and her family. Be the ugliest guy in the world. And they'll be so proud of that ugly man. They'll hold his hand, drag him around the place, introduce him to people like, this is Kevin. I want you to meet Kevin. I know he's not that attractive, <laughs> but he's good to me. Men aren't like that. Man, we'll never admit <laughs> okay? We'll hide that shit to the death. We ain't telling nobody. Shit, we <laughs> him and her to get married. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> don't spread the no rumors, all right? You know, some of women don't know if they're ugly or not. They give yourself a test. Just a little test. Don't be scared. Yo, if you've been over a guy's house more than four times, been fucked every time, and haven't met anybody in the house, <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you look that good. <laughs> like every time you go over, all you see is one room. <laughs> but I gotta pee. Hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's me. I know that's me. Men, we got women we just fuck, but won't take out. Oh, that's me. That's right. We got women we just fuck. But won't take out. But well, women, y'all just as mean. Y'all got men you let take you out, but you won't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's on dates right now. I ain't getting shit. <laughs> so yeah, I'ma loosen her up a little comedy. She's like, ain't nothing that funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You can't ha ha your way into this. See, that's the problem with men. We always think we could buy sex. Like, if I take it here, she give me some. If I buy this, she give me some. Nothing gets you none. Shit, a woman knows she's gonna fuck you within the first five minutes of meeting you. Women know that's right. They shake, they shake hands like I'm a fuck. <laughs> I hope you don't say nothing. 
That's right. Can't say nothing stupid because women are all about the mood. That's right. She's in the mood to shut up. Let it happen. So if you say the wrong thing, them pages are coming up fast and you can wake up. Excuse me, what you say? <laughs> Tell you, man. Now, the relationship's rough. Easy to get in one. Easy to get in a relationship. Hard to maintain. You know? It's like in marriage. Marriage, to me, is not even a natural state to be married for life. Anything for life just promotes laziness, okay? Marriage shouldn't be for life. Marriage should be like a driver's license. Five years and renew. <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> I love, I love the idea. Ooh, it's good, man. It's rough, man. It's hard, man. It's hard to maintain a relationship, man. Because at some point, no matter who it is, at some point you have heard everything this person has to say. You heard it all. You know what they get ready to say before they even say it. You remember that time? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Man. They ever tell you, yeah, you told me. <laughs> you have heard it all. And then what happens? You stop talking. Have a breakdown of communication. Yet you got to talk. Because women love to talk. Women love to talk. If they had talking in the Olympics, a man wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> women love to talk. And fellas, women don't want us to talk to them. They just want us to set them up. That's all women want you to do. If you're in a relationship with a woman, it's like being in a comedy team and you're the straight man. Just set her up, feed her lines. All the women want you to do is go, how was your day? That's all the fuck they want. How was your day? Because how was your day is a half hour conversation to a woman. It's a whole half hour. And you as the man, the only thing you got to do is go, uh-huh. Get out of here. Really? Get out of here. I told you that bitch is crazy. But eventually, hey, That's true. women, you talk too much. You do. You got to learn how to turn it down a little bit. You ever notice no man comes straight home? No man comes straight home. Every man in here has to go somewhere as soon as he gets off work. He got to go drink something, snort something, chew something in his veins, something to get him ready for the talking that he's about to hear. Something to deaden his senses. <laughs> It's true that. Nah, it's so true. That you talk too much. You talk too much as soon as we get in the house. As soon as we get in the door. You ain't gonna believe it. Guess what happened? <laughs> you ain't gonna believe that. You ain't gonna believe what happened today. And guess what happened? Hey! Let me get in the fucking house. <laughs> let me get the foot in there. Shit. Come on. Let me read the paper. Let me have something to eat. Let me get the shit there. Y'all gotta let me go. That was brilliant, man. Fucking brilliant. So, that was Chris Rock, Women Don't Like Nice Guys. And you know what? His whole bit was absolutely brilliant. I believe, I believe I've seen this bit somewhere before. It just sounded a little familiar. I, it feels like I've, it genuinely sounded like I've heard it before, but it was somewhere a long time ago. Because I only remember his uh, last four specials that I've seen. So it must have been something I've uh, watched a long time ago and completely forgot about it. But still, it was absolutely brilliant. Because I know Chris Rock is a very, very good comedian. Also, I felt like the audience was dead. It really, because there were some really genuinely funny bits. But the audience just sounded a bit dead. But I, I really did enjoy that. And I'm definitely going to do more Chris Rock. And I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.